Okay, so we know that tangent lines are horizontal when the derivative is zero. So all we got to do is take the derivative, set it equal to zero. This guy isn't solved for y, so we have to do it implicitly. No problem. Just take the derivative of everything. Whenever we take the derivative of a y, we'll do a little bit of chain rule, tack on a dy dx. So taking the derivative implicitly, derivative of x squared is just 2x. Take the derivative of xy, that's product rule. So I have the first times the derivative of the second. The derivative of y is just the derivative of y. Plus the second times the derivative of the first. The derivative of x is just 1. Um, taking the derivative of this y, this is 2y dy dx. Again, chain rule, derivative of the inside is dy dx. Every time you take the derivative of y, tack on an extra dy dx. And derivative of 1 is just 0. The reason we don't have to do it for the x's is, in fact, we are doing it for the x's. When you take the derivative, if you think of x squared as um, x squared, and you do 2x, and then the derivative of the inside, the derivative of x, the derivative of x with respect to x is just 1, right? It's not changing with respect to itself. So um, we're multiplying by a 1 there. We don't even bother saying it. So anytime you're taking the derivative of a function other than that, you have to do a little bit of chain rule, multiply by a dy dx or whatever you're doing. So anyway, got this, took a derivative, and we want to find out when the derivative is 0. So we need to solve for this derivative. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw everything without the dy dx over onto the other side. So everything with a dy dx stays, and this guy scoops, and that guy scoops. What this allows me to do is pull out a dy dx from those, and frees me up then to divide by this mess to solve for the dy dx. So now, I want to know when this equals 0. And basically, it'll equal 0 when the top is 0. So long as the bottom doesn't equal 0, uh, it'll happen when the top is 0. If you multiply both sides by the bottom, um, we want this to be 0. So that's 2x minus y is 0. So basically, y is negative 2x if you solve for y. Now that's fabulous. Um, but I want to know what x is, and I don't have enough info, but it should work in the original equation. So what I'm going to have to do is plug in that y equals 2x into here and figure out what x is. So here we go. This all is going to go away. Saved, ooh, saved y is negative 2x. Almost lost that negative. That would have been bad. And I'll put it in to the original. So I'll have x squared plus x times negative 2x plus negative 2x squared equaling 1. So x squared minus 2x squared plus 4x squared equals 1. So that's 3x squared equals 1. So x squared is 1 third. So x is plus or minus the square root of 1 third. So uh, rationalize root 3 over root 3, plus or minus root 3 over 3. Those are the values of x. Cross your fingers. Hope that they are on here. Uh, yeah, it looks like it is b. So those are the values of x that are that satisfy that equation and, and make that tangent line horizontal. That's it.